He's such a rocker. This is great. This is Thanks. a day off, too. <clears throat> is today, what is today, Monday? One, two, one, two. Yeah, it's Columbus Day today. It's a holiday for a lot of people, including uh, the front office here at the radio station. So. Uh, that's why it feels a little like Sunday. All right, so I'm recording on digital audio tape here. I'll have you know. All right, one, two, check, check, check. Joe, talking okay. about just There you are. 10, 9, 8, very 7. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Well, this is an unexpected surprise, and what a great surprise this is to have him in the Octopus studio. A, a lad who is kind of a, a long way from Vermont, Joe Perry. Uh, yeah, you said it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's guitarist from Aerosmith, Joe Perry, and the Joe Perry Project with a new, uh, a new album out, Joe. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... Uh... It's uh, I just was not expecting it. Three months ago, you know, four, I never would have expected. I was expecting to be finishing up the Aerosmith tour, and pushing the new Aerosmith record. Um, and it just was uh, when the answer, when the when the Aerosmith record got postponed. It was like, well, let's get in there and get to work. Cause, and, for, uh, and for you, a guy that loves to be on the road and loves to play then had to be had to be a little frustrating for joe perry to have to call the you know call the tour short and come well, off the road right well you know um it was mostly because the tour was just really amazing and and i was i just couldn't wait to bring this tour to to all the fans because it's, i mean we've you know we've had some really really good uh, shows put together over the last few years, but this one with ZZ Top was really different. I mean, um, sometimes, you know, you get one of the guys to sit in with one of the other guys, you know, over the course of the tour. This was like uh, Billy had joined us three times already on stage, even the few amount of, I think we only did uh, 12 or 14 gigs. Um, out of the whole thing and uh he had sat in with us on three of them and you know the next step was obviously either brad or i sitting in with them and it was just like there was, there was an energy there that you just don't usually feel you know having you know you know guitar players that are like kind of cut from the same cloth that are you know willing to get up and, and really you know tear tear it up and uh it was really really building up and i was really looking forward to bringing this tour out and uh more than ever and uh yeah it was really it was really tough to 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 have to call it quits it's one thing to postpone a few dates and then add them at the end of the tour um uh to make up for them but but because of uh his injury was so like we didn't know how long it was going to take we couldn't com commit to anything so we just basically had to cancel it and uh but uh, you know, like I, like I've been saying, I, I had the the album done and I was ready to go, and uh, I went right into rehearsals and uh, uh, started working. You know, so I, I didn't leave any time. So I've been I've been playing. All right, the album's called uh, "Have Guitar, Will Travel," and uh, will there be travel for the Joe Perry Project? Will there be a tour behind the new solo album? Well, we are definitely planning on that. Ever since the uh, the conception of this album, which again was um, kind of like in the back of my mind when we were working on the Aerosmith record, but um, uh, I knew that it was going to be uh, take on a whole different flavor than than the last one. It was going to be really like the backbone of a tour, and I was going to I really wanted to get on the road with the with the project again. So even right da uh, right down to uh, the way the songs were written, you know, they were they were. Uh, constructed just just thinking about how I would, how they would sound live and uh um and that's how it's worked out the songs that we've played live so far have been uh really really carrying the day and by the time we get get out here we'll probably be playing almost all the songs off the record and uh um Aerosmith has a, a few more gigs left to do uh over the next couple of weeks that we committed to um a year ago I think uh, but after that it's um we're going to be out for about 3 or 4 weeks with the project and uh it'll be a, a kind of a whirlwind we're going to start in uh 
at Irving at Irving uh, Plaza, I think on the tenth of November, and uh, just keep hitting hitting places all across the country. Hopefully, we'll get out here, and uh, I know we'll be in Palm Springs. Maybe we'll get get actually right out here to Southern California, and uh, and then then we'll start touring for 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 real in, in uh, January. All right. And and the band, the Joe Perry Project, is this the same lineup as the album? Yeah, came out in two thousand five, I it, think. Right. Well, that wasn't a project album. That was a no. This re- this record here is yeah. is the got a, got a live band on it. The one I did uh, a few years ago was just just me and my producer, and uh, not my producer, my engineer, uh, who played drums as well. I played everything, sang everything, wrote everything, and it was a real solo record. It was really really some uh finely polished demos i mean by the time we got done with it it was uh with the uh overlaying of all the different guitars and di- different guitar sounds and different instruments uh it was like i don't think i could really get the the same vibe if i brought people in to play this you know we really you know worked on each song one after the other and and uh so it was really a solo record it was really and i really it really kind of cleared the decks, and I, and I really, really felt good about it because uh, I was really finding uh, uh, some new places to play, 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 uh, new places to sing. I mean, new places to play, meaning you know the the style of songs, things like that, within the confines of the great rock and roll, you know. Um, but this record was definitely uh, uh, an effort to to to. Uh, to play live is it true your wife discovered your singer yeah that is true on uh youtube we were uh and he's from where uh, he's from uh southern southern uh germany oh Oh. yeah yeah i was trying to find guys that were local uh i mean there's a lot of great talent in boston and uh as you can hear from the record um I wanted some some local guys that if I if I and I'd wanted to do this for a long time too. Um, uh, have a bunch of guys I could um, just give a call when I get you know people ask me do you want to sit in here do you want to come and play there we got a there's a there's a you know we're having a, a beach party do you want to come and sit in and and you know have some guys I could call up and just say come on down. So uh, as it worked out. Um, I got the, I got about um, eighty percent there, <laughs> except for for Hagen, and uh, we were uh, she was she was uh, on the computer listening to Alex Jones, and we were both uh, uh, you know always always digging looking for the truth, and uh, uh, you know listen to all these different people on the computer, and, and somehow she managed to to come across uh, Hagen's video on YouTube, and uh, there you have it. And a uh, few phone calls, few emails, uh, and uh, I think it was the uh, the plane ticket that, that cinched the deal. <laughs> and he came in and uh, and sang, and we played, and that was it. You and know? it was the invite from Joe Perry that probably probably did it. And the the single "Long Way to Go" that's uh, Hagen. That's Hagen. Right, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that guy can sing. Uh, yes, he can. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And he's and and uh, I'll tell you, if we were cutting the record again, it would be a. He, I mean, he's he's loosened up, and he's you know I, like, again after the, the big thing was really convincing him that it was the real deal, and uh, I think that um, his, uh, you know, it being the first thing and just getting thrown into it, it, it was just uh, uh, he was just you can you could if. If you knew which songs were the ones, you know, were the first ones to the last ones, you'd, you could be able to hear how, he, how his voice opened up. And since we've been playing live, it's it's just been a steady, steady climb. And he's just, just get, you know, I'm just hearing more and more of what he can do. Do you, so, uh, do um, you guys do you guys dig playing uh, Guitar Hero on the bus? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Too much? Uh, it's, 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 it's plenty to have it on the outside, thanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because yeah, we do we do that we do these pizza things with listeners every Thursday where we go out and have uh, free pizza for listeners and we set up you know we set up rock band and let them get really? out there and play. Well, that's and great. Play. Oh, yeah, it's it's so much fun, so much fun, and it's and all these kids getting exposed to this older music too through yeah. you know through these games. Yeah, yeah and yeah, 
definitely. I mean, when we started looking for, looking for songs for it, uh, we we started remembering some of the songs that we had left behind and never never got on set lists, never got played live, that kind of thing. And uh, um, so it was it was a good experience all around, you know, doing it. It, it still is. I mean, you know, it, it just it's, it's still out there. I mean, it's it's. Uh, um, and at some point, we'll probably put out some more software to, to load into it. All right. So when uh, the project goes on tour now, you'll be doing stuff off the new album and old Joe Perry stuff. Any, uh, you going to mix in some Aerosmith songs? Definitely. On that? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's some. I mean, there's a lot of licks of uh, that that I've written over the years that I, I love playing, and uh, um, Hagen can certainly sing them. So there's. You know, and the audience loves hearing them. You know, especially you know, with our take on it, and because uh, they've been hearing Aerosmith playing them, you know, that way for for so long, it's kind of neat to hear them with a, a little different slant. You know, we don't stray too far from the from the. Uh, you don't mess around with classics too much, but uh, um, uh, we do we do play some of our favorite ones. You know. All right. Joe Perry Project out with their fifth, uh, Joe's fifth solo album. I, I guess you'd call it a fifth solo album and getting nothing but uh, great reviews from what I've read, man. The, the buzz is real good on the new album. Have Guitar, Will Travel. It's kind of l- almost like your slogan, man. It's real kind of personal. <laughs> well, it really works. Yeah. It really does. And uh, um, <laughs> I was really hoping we'd come up with something good, but this time I, 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 I was... Uh, it was really coming up dry, and, and Billy said, "You know, why don't you use, why don't you ask the fans?" And so we used the, the, the tweeter thing, and uh, and and uh, we got so many so many titles, and uh, and then I remembered the title to "Have Guitar Will Travel" from uh, years ago that I'd wanted to use for for an album or for a song, and I'd never used it and with Aerosmith, and. Uh, and then I had my fingers crossed that somebody would would come up with it. You know, I was just sitting and waiting, and, and deadline was coming up, and we, ha- we already had a short list of uh, titles, and sure enough, somebody came up with it, and uh, that lucky winner um, <laughs> really saved the day because because I was really you know I really wanted to use that as the title, and it just because it, it just works. All right. Well, Joe Perry making the most of the downtime between. Uh stints with his band yeah and he continues to be the uh the, actually the, i'm the, starting to look at it as uptime <laughs> it's more like uptime for joe perry but remaining the mainstay of uh band aerosmith and out there with the joe perry project tour and looking forward to that and the new album have a guitar will travel long way to go we ought to play that yeah it's thanks a it's a goodie well what else did we what what since this is on tape i can and say, what did we miss anything, boys? Did we miss any? Did we leave any stones unturned? No, except that we'll be out there playing nothing, not you know, you, you hit everything. We're you know, the band uh is is definitely a uh, a live project, and uh, and it's it's great to be playing with David Hall again. You know, he was with the original project for two years and 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 recorded uh some of the songs that we're playing you know when we originally recorded them and uh, uh and just seeing the the band develop um we've got six live gigs under our belts and every one of them has topped the one, the last one and it's uh it's been really exciting to see the see the, the band progress and like i said see Hagen open up and uh and just take take these songs and and we make them make them our own you know even though you know Everybody that's out here on the road with me are the same guys that that played on the record, mm-hmm. uh, except for the for Marty played on two of the songs. Who's the drummer now? But um, the drummer on most of the songs are from my son's band, Tab, uh, Tab the band, mm. and uh, um, Marty was busy at the time, and uh, you know we were in in in, in the groove and. Uh, and uh, Ben was available. You know, he was—he's in school. He's 24 years old, but he's—he's he's a percussion prodigy, and he just—he just nailed it. And uh, uh, um, yeah, it's got so a great had, percussive sound. Yeah, I had to—I had to steal him from Tony's, <laughs> from my son Tony's band, 
and uh, and Adrian, my my two sons have a band together, like I said, and uh, um, I don't know. Ben had some time off, so he was able to do it, and then uh, um, then Marty, who, who plays with the Jay Giles band, had some had some free time and he's basically you know made himself available so and he's he's great you know he's he's got not only the 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 the, uh the chops to play the the real classic rock and roll but he's also um you know having that uh, so much experience i mean all these guys have been around the world touring with, with different bands and uh and uh, he's he's you know deep into into R and B and and blues and and all that the the stuff that that uh, you know we're all kind of like uh, we all went to the same school together you know. You still still cooking hot sauce, Joe? Um, actually, I, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's 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 available on online yeah. and it's uh, it's there and it's, uh, and I, every once in a while I hear of somebody using it in in a new way. You know, it's. Uh, I think uh, somebody somebody mentioned something about they were putting it on. Uh, uh, I don't know. It wasn't cornflakes. It was something, but it was pretty <laughs> bizarre, and uh, they loved it. And it was uh, uh, so it's going it's going full blast. Yeah, we did a promotion a couple of years ago where we gave away your hot sauce yeah. to people. I think along with the uh, with the I think it was back in two thousand five. We're still playing shaking, shaking my cage. Yeah, yeah we're still playing yeah. it as a recurrent. Yeah. So. Man, I appreciate that. Great tune, man. Yeah, it's a great tune. Well, gosh. Would you do a liner for me, Joe? Sure. Definitely. Just I was gonna have you do some other ones, but I know you guys are busy, so Yeah. Just the top one. Hi, I'm or, or hi, I'm Joe Perry. You're listening to Perry in the morning. See we got Perry's <laughs> everywhere here. Sure. Are you ready? Yeah. Hey, I'm Joe Perry, here with the Joe Perry Project, and you're listening to Perry in the morning. On 95.9, The Octopus. So it's Perry first or Perry, Perry last? Perry in the morning. Perry is my first name. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's that's what I was getting at. Yeah. Okay. Then there's a couple others for people that are on our sister station. Okay, sure. Oh, cool. Hey, this is Joe Perry. I'm here with the Joe Perry Project, and you're listening to Sharon Steele on 93.5, The Quake. You guys like to live vicariously, huh? Yeah, we do. This is Joe Perry, and you're listening to Jeff Duran on 100.1, The Edge. Keep on rocking. From the East Coast to the West Coast. <laughs> coast with the most. Yeah. All right. You're a good man, man. We did 20 to 18 minutes there, dude. Great. Uh, 